as important as it is to ensure that uh, any new Americans are integrated into our community, we need to, if you will, integrate our community into, into the new Americans. And the best way to do that is through cultural immersion at some level. I wanted to thank you for this exhibit, um, for just being able to walk downtown and see these things, and actually to, to Bill and the mayor, who has disappeared behind me somehow. Um, you know, I, I do a lot downtown, and these are on the street. You can see these just walking by. Today's the day we can come in and see everything from the inside, but I didn't know if you realized that just everybody walking by the street gets to see these. And I want to thank you and everyone here for bringing that artwork together. Well, I have to thank you actually for your useful words and I'm really happy to learn that a lot of people in the downtown can just take a look, like even without uh, going inside the exhibition. Uh, I would like thank, uh, to thank all the community actually also, especially, but the reason of all of this that to start is uh, of course to have a, a connection uh, between cultures but also because you are doing a wonderful thing and you are receiving uh, refugees from my country who will feel really, uh, I think, at home with you because uh, I can feel how you are and how you express yourself. As I said, some of us didn't know each other, expressed how emotional we were. And uh, where we are broken is where the love comes through. And you, you reinforce that and you feel very close to the beauty that still exists when there's such horror all around. Shukran, thank you so much for making that. Castleton University President David Walk made it clear that he would be happy to welcome Youssef in the classic Castleton way. So the invitation still stands, okay? <laughs> I wrote those letters and uh, uh, I can't wait to see you in person and we'll welcome you with the warm embrace of a loving family, okay? So thank you too. Jenna Goldsider, CVM News, Rutland.